So, Louis C.K. is apparently re-emerging onto the scene. Dave Chappelle bring him out on a recent comedy show. This was two days ago. And I'm just, like, over here, like, wait, what? <laughs> Wasn't this guy canceled? Did you guys forget that he's a pervert and a creep? And why should he have any type of platform whatsoever? A lot of times, these comedians, they use dark humor as a shield to say horrible things. I made a video about Rain Wilson and Steve-O, and people were trying to defend Steve-O, saying he's not a pedophile, he was just trying to be funny. Like, wait, what? <laughs> he literally got a tattoo of a, of a baby being raped on him. Yeah, no, no, like, that's not humor. That's, that's he says sicko, man, he's sick. That's the issue with all the dark humor is that people will eventually buy into these lies that it's just, it's just funny. Like, no, it's not. It's desensitizing you. Humor is a tactic. It's deflection. It's deflection used to desensitize you into thinking that these things are funny. Rape, murder, pedophilia is not funny. Steve-O getting a tattoo of a kid being raped on him is not humorous. It's not funny and you're sick and deranged if you think so. So anyways, about Louis C.K., you know, he always he always joked about really raunchy stuff. There's so many times he's joked about his little daughter's genitalia. Like, he's made jokes about it and he was accused by five different women of sexually harassing them. He made a movie called I Love You, Daddy, which promoted pedophilia. It was about, like, the 17-year-old girl. And it was supposed to be a comedy. That's what I'm saying. It's like these people always, like, you know, back up all their raunchy, nasty stuff and say, it's just comedy, it's just dark humor. You don't know how to take a joke. Like, no, you're talking about pedophilia, dude. It's not funny. Like, I don't know why you think it's funny, but it's not, and you're sick. But anyways, I Love You Daddy movie got dropped. It was about, like, the 17-year-old girl who was seduced by a much older man, and, you know, they got in a relationship, and it was just a really weird movie. Anyways, it, I don't know if it premiered or not, but anyways, long story short, He's back on the scene, right? Which he shouldn't be because he's a sicko, all right? Not only has he been, you know, accused of sexual harassment, he's made multiple different jokes about his daughter and her genitalia. And the things that he says about his daughter is so sickening to me, and I don't even know why this guy has kids. Like, what in the world? Like, he says so much vulgar stuff about his daughter. He calls her the C word. He says he's going to effing punch her. He just talks about her her genitalia so much and I have a clip that I'm going to play right now and you know it's very vulgar and I censored most of it but there was a lot that I kept in there because I really wanted you guys to hear what this guy is saying about his own daughter like I didn't put the whole entire video on it because it's just sick it's just sickening and it makes me sick to my stomach but you know I want to warn you guys like this video that I'm about to play this audio recording it's just sick, you know, it's just so sick, dude, like, ah. anyways, I'm gonna play it right now, I warned you in advance, it's sick, it's graphic, it's nasty, it might make you sick to your stomach, so if you don't want to watch, I totally understand, it is so gross, like, I don't know how much more to describe it than it's, like, sick and disturbing, but anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and play it now. Drew his hands that way, I would punch her, <laughs> learn how to draw, you stupid <laughs> What's wrong with you? Little girl vagina smell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah. that was, uh, you were uh, describing that as a father, <laughs> describing right. a, a stinky this daughter. And I, smelly vagina I my desperately daughter. want to ask a lot of questions about that. Yeah. Because I've never heard that from a parent before that you could that smell. The, no oh, parent fuck. would say it. They're liars. <laughs> They're just liars. But you You're can tell the difference between the, the ass smell and that smell at that you age. Can, and any all that. person. Vaginas. Have a distinctive odor. <laughs> if it's her ass, she's got. She's gonna die so, too soon. <laughs> her ass smells like rotted clams. And I'm <laughs> really the wrong. And did you have a clue? So, I had no. No, clue I on. not not having any children or knowing any people with uh, girls that I would be around while they're dirty. Mm -hmm. I didn't know a kid. Yeah. I figured no, every kid smells good. I thought it when you like have a, kids, you're, you're, you're as a guy, your relationship to the vagina. It just changes completely. Really? There's always this mysterious, beautiful little pouty thing that I'd only catch in glimpses in the dark <laughs> maybe three times in 40 years. <laughs> and now I got to clean out of two of them daily. <laughs> I have to literally scrape out of my daughter's little red vagina <laughs> a few times a day. A few oh times my. a day. Got to get in there hard. with the wipey, make a corner out of it, and get the out of it. Holy Every time it goes straight up her gun. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God, I had no idea. It's true. 
You are the it's parents true. out there all nodding. Wow. I had yeah, they're all going, yep. That's, I had no clue. That's no, what it is. no, and my the four year old doesn't t- you she doesn't you know, she is toilet trained, but she'll lay on the carpet w- spreading it out like Pulling it open like a fucking Holy hustler, ma- like like Marilyn Chambers, <laughs> <laughs> like fucking yanking it open and just going, man, like just lays there doing that. Why? Because that's what people want to do. I mean, that's the happiest I've ever seen any person. It's her laying on the floor, pulling her vagina open for the world. And I look at her and I realize that's a human being. That's a human being being happy. And for some reason, that's not okay. And wow. I have I have to like inhibit that so she won't be homeless. If you made it through that, I give you props because that was so disturbing. It's an eight-minute video. The full video is on YouTube, and you can watch it if you want. It's nasty, I know. And, you know, I I can't even imagine being his daughter. Imagine being his daughter. Imagine what she goes through. The guy's a sicko. The things that he said he was going to punch her and the way that he laughed about it. And what makes me sick is the way that everyone else was, like, laughing about it with him. It was just really sick. And then... Oh, man. Oh, gosh. I, like I said, props to you if you made it through that. He's one sick puppy. He should definitely not be reemerged. Keep him gone. No one cares about him. He's a sick puppy, dude. One sick dude. Anyways, thank you for watching. I'm going to cut the video off, and God bless you guys.